Hello everyone! I'm in a very interesting place in my apartment this morning because I wanted to do something extra special with you all and that is talk about my skincare routine, particularly using Beauty Pie products. I kind of teased this a long time ago and then I actually forgot to go back and film the videos, so I have a couple other Beauty Pie videos if you want to check those out. I will leave them linked below, but Essentially what Beauty Pie is, is it's kind of the Costco for luxury beauty products. You pay a price, you can pay annually or monthly, and you get access to the most incredible high-end beauty products for like a fraction of the cost. These are products that are made in all of the same labs as La Mer and Estee Lauder and like, because honestly there's like five or six labs that essentially make all of the same luxury brands. And so Beauty Pie just essentially has their own branding. It's kind of like, what's the word? Like when you go to the grocery store and you just buy the generic version of something, but it's actually still made in the same factories as a lot of the like name brand stuff. Same thing, but for beauty products. So I've been a Beauty Pie user for ever. I think skincare personally is where you get the biggest bang for your buck with your subscription. So I'm really excited to talk through some of the things that I use. And I am in a robe because I'm going to get in the shower. <laughs> and so I wanted to talk through. I just worked out if you're wondering why I look super uh, sweaty and gross, but I don't have really any makeup on my face. And I wanted to kind of walk through like my morning routine and then my night routine. And so before I get in the shower, I want to talk through a couple of face washes that I use. So this one is one that I absolutely love. This is the Plantastic Apricot Butter Cleansing Balm with cold pressed rosehip oil and vitamin E. And this is the one that I'm obsessed with for nighttime because it's really, really thick and it just like takes off all your makeup. Like you just get it into your face, but it is really, really thick. In fact, I don't actually use this in the summertime just because it's like, it's a lot. And so yeah, that's something that I do use at nighttime, like fall, spring, winter, but I do stop using it in the summer. So if you have really oily or just skin that like already has moisture, bless, it's great for you, but um, you might not like this. But if you have medium to dry skin like I have, you will be obsessed with this product. And it's it's a really fantastic, luxurious kind of makeup remover. Like I just rub it into my eyes and then I wipe it away. I use face halos pretty religiously. These are such an economical way to not use um, pads or cotton balls. And it's something that I can just use for the week and take all my eye makeup off. And then I throw them in the wash and then they are completely clean. And I obviously get the black because of black mascara and black eye makeup and things like that. So yeah, love a face halo. But let's get into kind of like the everyday cleanser that I use. And that is this one and i love first of all how freaking huge this bottle is like i just got a new one which is why it's completely full but one thing i will say do not sleep on the beauty pie super healthy skin range this is my personal favorite range and beauty pie has like different ranges or kind of like sub brands within beauty pie and when i first started with beauty pie i read a lot of reviews online about Japan Fusion and how great it was. And don't get me wrong, Japan Fusion is great, but like I actually only really love one product from Japan Fusion and that is the M3 moisturizer. I think I have it in here actually, yes. So I used this one pretty religiously. I actually got this for all of my sisters and my mom when I get to them Beauty 5 for Christmas. This is just a great, standard just day and night gonna make your skin super moisturized without being too heavy however i've now become obsessed with the super healthy skin one and this is actually what i prefer so i use both of these things from the super healthy skin line i like this one because it's just a gentle foaming face cleanser because i do use retinols i which i'll get in, into a second um, but this one is great. It's very, very calm. I end up actually just putting a couple pumps of this into my skin and then 
using my Foreo, which I'm obsessed with, I started getting, um, as I'm sure a lot of you guys did, acne from wearing the mask so much. And I really had to start using my Foreo again because I just felt like I was breaking out. And I mean, you can still see, I definitely had breakouts along that part of my face. So it was just important for me to get kind of a deeper clean. So I wanted just to really, um, just calm, regular, just standard of the mill kind of cleanser. So this is the cleanser that I've really been loving. And then I've been really loving the Super Healthy Skin Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream that is on top of it. And I will say the OG Super Healthy Skin product that I love is this deluxe body moisture cream which i will also show you up close in a second but this is in my opinion the most underrated beauty pie product this is the one thing i recommend to people the most just because omg like i i, I can't even i never thought i would be so in love with a body lotion but once you use it you realize it's somehow very thin and supple but it like moisturizes your skin so well it's like a magical cream it's it's so much better than CeraVe it's better than every any kind of body cream that I've ever used and I just love it so much so definitely going to be putting this on after I get out of the shower but I'm going to jump in the shower now and I'm actually going to like walk through step by step kind of what I use and then yeah we can start our day <laughs> together okay so I just got out of the shower and I, I wanted to show you guys actually, normally I would wash my face in the shower, but I wanted to show you sort of how I use my Foreo and how I, how long I do it, like what parts of my face I kind of concentrate on. get out of the shower, I automatically apply head to toe um, the Super Healthy Skin Lotion. I don't know how people don't apply lotion out of the shower. Maybe I just have crazy dry skin. I don't know. But like, no matter what time of year, I have to apply lotion. I'll be super itchy if not. So that's what I do. Then I put on deodorant and then I put on perfume. But obviously, I would not have clothes on. So that's why I didn't show you guys that part of the routine. But that's what just happened. Now I want to show you guys my morning skincare routine. So I have a completely clean face. You can see still got some breakouts right now. I am, this is my time of the month, so not the best skin, but overall this is what my skin looks like without any makeup on it or anything. And to start the day, um, I use these morning and night, but these are the Super Active Capsules Essential Ceramides. And this essentially just creates a base barrier to keep all the moisture like in your face. That's the scientific term. <laughs> so I actually just apply them directly to my face. You twist the little top off of the capsule and then I just throw it in the toilet because they dissolve. They're made out of some kind of um, vegetable something. So they actually just dissolve over the day. And then I just put them on different parts of my face and then I just let it kind of sink in. I do like to let this sink in for at least 30 seconds because when you first put it on, it feels like really greasy and kind of feels like, oh my God, I'm gonna be walking around really shiny all day, but trust me, it's gonna sink in. So I'm actually gonna let this sink in and that's when I'm gonna do my hair. And by do my hair, I mean, put in um, the deep frizzer of choice and then um, just let it air dry for the day, so. Okay, you can see now it's really started to sink into my face. Sorry, booker. So yeah, just like I said, 30 seconds, that's when I do my hair totally sinks into my face. Now I'm going to apply actually a new product that I've been using. This is not a beauty pie products, but this is called Dew. 
And this is a product by, I think her name is Charlotte Parker. She's like all over TikTok. She's that really famous dermatologist. And I've really been liking this. We're supposed to use it morning and night. Once again, I just apply it straight to my face in sections. I don't know why I don't apply things to my hands. I feel like I'm worried about like not getting the most of the product. So yeah, I put that on. This is really good for anyone that has rosacea. I actually have a mild rosacea and it's really meant to just like brighten the skin and I've really been liking it. It is super, super lightweight. So that just goes under. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the super healthy skin. so good all in my neck my head oh, such a good moisturizer and then I'm actually going to this is the eye cream that I use during the day. It's the Triple Hyaluronic Acid Elastic Lifting Eye Serum. I love this for daytime because it's light. So I use a heavier eye cream at nighttime and I love this for the daytime. So I just pop that on. Cool. Now, if you're smart, you're probably like, oh my God, you didn't put on an SPF. So, Oops. Um, this is the SPF I would use if I was leaving the house. I'm literally working from home. I do not leave the house all day long, which sounds really sad, but <laughs> that is my life. So if I was going outside or just if I was wanting to be super cautious, I really do love the Beauty Pie uh, Ultralight Daily SPF 30. So this is a great one. Absolutely. You should be wearing an SPF every day. Do not follow my lead. I just have very strange working circumstances. Okay. So now that all the moisture's on, I'm going to lock it in with the triple hyaluronic acid Hydra Plump Mist. And this is something I actually keep on my desk if my skin's just ever looking dry and dull throughout the day. This is also something that I spray on top of my makeup after it's done. So just a way to like keep the moisture in. But yeah, that's my little skincare routine. And obviously you can make this as pump it up, add more, you know, vitamin C serum, whatever you feel is good for your skin. Or if you're like, oh my gosh, that's way too many steps. Like you can just go for the face wash and the moisturizer combo. That's absolutely fine. These are just, this is the combination of things that have worked so, so well for me. And these are my absolutely favorite beauty care products for day. And so I will come back at nighttime and show you guys my nighttime routine before I go to sleep. So I'll see you in the Lord knows about eight or 10 hours. <laughs> see ya. Hi everyone. Okay. So it is nighttime and I am super tired and I've worked a long day and I'm ready to go to bed now. So I want to walk through my nighttime routine with you starting with the Plantastic Cleansing Balm. So this is what I love to put on to just like remove all of my makeup at night, frankly. So I put a little bit of this all over my face. Oh. I love that it really doesn't have a scent, frankly. It's just like ugh, so thick and moisturizing. So yeah, really get in on the mascara. <laughs> and then I cleanse my face. <sighs> so yeah, definitely thicker than my daytime cleanser. <sighs> but I love that for nighttime. <sighs> Just get all my makeup off, feel super clean. And then I actually add the exact same base layer that I use in the mornings, which is the Ceramide Capsule from Beauty Pie. Grab that, this one. 
So again, I just twist off the top and I let it throw it in the toilet, let it dissolve. Once again, this creates that great barrier between my skin to lock in the moisture, which is so important. And then this is a new product that I've been loving to use. This is the Overnight Skin Perfector 2.0. It has gentle retinol, triple smoothing infusion with caviar, lime, AHA, and sodium high. Yeah. So yeah. So I actually only use this a couple nights a week. The other times of the week, I use a prescription retinol which I do get from my dermatologist, this tretinoin cream. This is honestly the biggest hack. If you are lucky enough to have good health care, you can actually get this for like $5 a prescription from your dermatologist. So I would highly recommend a lot of people, if you, if you are, you know, working on salary and you, you do have health insurance, really talk to your dermatologist it's worth the copay to go to the dermatologist once a year to just get a prescription retinol because retinol is actually quite cheap via prescription than paying for it over the counter. But in between retinol sessions, I do really love this overnight serum. It's absolutely fantastic. So I kind of rub this into my face. I will use the prescription retinol about two to three times a week and then the overnight mask the rest of the time. So kind of like my morning, I let this a bit sink into my face. And then like I mentioned in the morning, I like to have a thicker eye cream for nighttime. And so I, to be perfectly transparent, I did use the Beauty Pie Uber Youth and I don't love it. It's, it's fine. Like, Honestly, it's no different to me than just like any other kind of facial moisturizer that they offer, if not worse. What I actually really love is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm, and I just ordered this off of Sephora with their discount. This was actually a sample that I got and I fell in love with. It's a really moisturizing, great cream for nighttime, and so this is what I'm going to use just moving forward. But honestly, the sample lasted me a very long time. So if you see it on Sephora, I would recommend just grabbing that because I do love that for nighttime. And then once again for nighttime, I love just the hyaluronic triple acid spray. Just get it all kind of sealed in. And yeah, so that's what I go for at nighttime. So like I said, I like to kind of alternate retinol versus the overnight perfecting just mask, but that's kind of what I go for at nighttime. So hopefully you enjoyed this skincare routine with all the Beauty Pie products mixed in with the other products. And yeah, I will link everything below and hopefully you explore and enjoy some new products. I'll see you in my next video.